If your nose have a better hole, go to it. Someday soon, there'll be bigger and deeper holes in the ground. But surface air raid shelters scar vacant areas of ground, while New Zealand cities make haste to provide some protection in case it does happen here, and soon. Drag lines make quick work of digging in for wooden frame shelter buildings, covered with spoil to keep out blast and fragments. We're beginning to believe it's better to get underground voluntarily, instead of waiting for someone to make a permanent job of it. Fresh air and sunshine are good, but staying alive is even better. While we can stay above ground, most of us try to keep off the ground, on wheels. This car owner solves the petrol problem by piping into a gas tap bowser. The balloon holds enough for 10 miles of travel. And this car owner beats that by getting 12 miles out of the coal gas in a cylinder on the back of his light car. He pipes from gas installed in his garage, and a small pump boosts the pressure. He hopes to do better. Meanwhile, it's quicker than walking. After months of training, men of the New Zealand tank units prove themselves and their machines on parade ground and maneuver area. Back from the Middle East came experts to train the crews that manage these machine monsters. From factory and workshop in New Zealand came the men to drive and maintain New Zealand's armoured fighting vehicles. <laughs> New Zealanders take easily to these machines, to the speedy gun carrier or the heavy infantry support tank. Crossing obstacles is the specialty of these big fellows. 15 tons of metal, heavily powered, will smash through if it can't push through. This is the heavy metal of our fighting forces. Someday they may need to use it. Someday soon. Well, they can use it. <laughs> 